it's uh, there's a long list. Uh, when I started going to art school, uh, Picasso was the the big deal, and abstract expressionism and all that stuff was coming. I couldn't fit that into my way of thinking. I had grown up with uh, paintings or calendars, pictures on the wall, uh, painted by Maxfield Parrish. I, I admired all the American artists that were popular then, Thomas R. Benton, um, Charles Birchfield, Grant Wood, and I liked the folk painters like Peter Ompere, Peter Hunt. My, my only real desire to see was something that I could recognize. I despised all the dripping and dribbling that they were doing. Uh, some form of realism. Now I like a lot of, exp of abstract stuff like the Impressionists and uh, people of that ilk, but uh, I still I like representative art. And Salvador Dali is the king of all, the king of them all. I'm painting on an old ironing board. I'm sure you can tell by the shape of it. So these old ironing, wooden ironing boards are very easy and nice to paint on. In this case, uh, I'm doing Santa Claus. Uh, for one thing, it fits the shape of Santa Claus nicely. I'm just basically painting them uh, without a pattern. I just, just, you know, I figure by now I ought to know what Santa Claus looks like. I don't paint a strictly traditional Santa because um, it's just overdone. I like to make him look a little bit unusual and still and it's everybody that looks at it, they know that it's Santa. So uh, all I do, I push the TV with his traditional red and with a bunch of gold. And I'm going to make this boot a little bit this is almost like a straight ahead view and the other boot is going to be I'm making kind of pigeon toe now this will be funny when we get through it the next phase is fill in uh, I guess if you're in the North Pole, you uh, kill a polar bear to make these. I don't know what else you do. Maybe you go to a boot shop in Ly Nome, Alaska and buy a ferry. Get your gift every once in a while. I've got this boot sort of in, and I'm ready now to put in the other boot. I've got this boot at least filled in. I'll put details in there in a few minutes. I guess the other one caught up to this one. These her boots are very loose fitting. So they kind of crumple down when you walk on them in them. let this paint dry. They sent it uh, somewhere between a, an elf and a gnome, I guess. I don't know. Uh, but I'll, I'm ready to add some some detail to his traditional uniform. That's already looking good. I'm going to put a little bit more up here. 
Uh, I will repaint this fur top knot when I'm ready. Now he's beginning to look like a painting. Next I'm going to put some of that around this cuff. I don't believe I'll use the same design exactly. Uh, I'll use the same colors. But uh, instead of making squares, I'm going to make diamonds. Which is a square, square standing on toes. Decorating on their halos. Then I am ready to add some toys on to the Santa Claus figure. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is put on a, an old fashioned watch, a pocket watch. Pretty nice watch. Looks like something you'd see on the antique road show. It's worth somewhere between five and five million dollars. Only the experts know. I'm going to indicate. Well, I'll go as far as I can count with these numbers. Now we know that to watch. I don't guess because we looked at it because I told you we're sort of beautiful over here. Needs a little detailing. Then I'm going to put a small wrapped crescent. Country boy in the mountains I call home. Western North Carolina is where I learned to get along. And Papa taught me how to be a southern gentleman. Granny showed me all the strength of a woman's gentle hands. And Mama taught me how face the world on headstrong she said life will bring you problems you gotta keep on moving on 